Hey guys, in this video I'm going to do a full review of uh, the Android 5.1 Lollipop ROM. This is the Omni ROM homemade and you can see that you can't really uh, wake the device with this uh, home key. Uh, it is it is a very early bit build but yeah, I'm so surprised that it is very stable. So, But you can't really wake it up with this button so you need to wake it up with the power key. And uh, this is how the lock screen looks like, typical Lollipop styled. You can go into your dialer or the camera or you can just quickly unlock the device. You can see the time and the day and the date. So on the top left corner you can see your SIM information. Of course I don't have any SIM at the moment. And then you can see some information here about the battery. And uh, so yeah, here you go. So, uh, you can see that this is uh, having no G apps. Uh, let's just lower down the brightness. But you can see this is the new 5.1 feature that we have we don't have we don't have to go into into main settings to you know connect to different Wi-Fi connections so you can see that we can just quickly uh, click here and uh, and then we're gonna you know connect to your connection or whatever you want to connect so uh, similarly with the Bluetooth you can just quickly go into Bluetooth with just this option you don't have to go into settings and um, and yeah if you click here you'll go into main settings and you can scroll down let me just slow down the brightness more. So yeah, you can scroll down about phone, and you can see this is the Android 5.1 version. Uh, the good thing about that is that uh, that the 5.1 uh, Lollipop is in uh, working. You know, we'll see a lot of good custom ROMs for the Galaxy S3. A lot of people are using this phone, and they want me to do more uh, videos like this. And if you want me to do more videos like this, uh, do uh, comment down below. So yeah, you know. So yeah, I installed this and uh, so far I haven't seen any problem. Yeah, one thing is that when I first flashed this and I, after flashing this ROM, I flashed the G apps, it, it caused uh, some errors, you know. Um, I, maybe, it's well, it, maybe it was like I was installing the 5.0 Lollipop G apps, uh, but I'm not sure. Uh, but, you know, without G apps, the ROM is now working really fine. So you can see that uh, you can... Uh, try to flash 5.1 G apps if you can find them but yeah without the G apps it works really fine so uh, you can see if I go into camera I can just focus and then I can capture the photos and go into the gallery this is how the gallery looks like you can also edit your uh, images we have a typical um, normal Nexus style or a AOSB editor there and this is how the dialer looks like you can see that normal dialer and then also you can see the home key speed is also good no lags whatsoever and it does it does take a little bit time to you know show the screen you know you can see that it does takes a little bit time uh, but yeah you can lower down the animations and stuff so if I go into settings and uh, you can see there's no um, dedicated um, you can say dedicated option for uh, this ROM it is very very close to uh, the stock but you can see that you can have some cool options cool Android options then also you can see the performance option where you can do some stuff maximum speed which is 1.4 gigahertz and you can also change um, your uh, governor and you can also down clock your device from here from this option so if I go into about phone and if I click on the uh, let's see build number a couple of times I'm going to unlock the uh, developer option you can see this is how the developer option looks like so yeah overall is not 100% stable but of course this is very, very early build we'll see uh, a more good custom ROMs with you know even good than you know, theme engine, of course. So, of course, it's not running at very low frequency. That's why it's slowing down. So, I'm going to just clock it all the way up to 1.4. Uh, and, and yeah, now it's, it feels really smooth. So, also, we do have the calculator. We also do have the uh, browser, the Apollo Music app, then the messaging, the download, and the contacts, and the documents here. 
which is the you know kind of like a file manager and you can also hold the screen it'll give you these two options uh, the widgets uh, and the wallpaper you can check out these wallpapers uh, this one is the default when you first flash the ROM and um, you know the main uh, problem with this ROM is that it's set up you know when you first install it the problem occurs in the setup area when you know they ask some information so uh, when you don't install a GS we're going to straight it, this ROM we're going to boot straight into the uh, into the ROM you're not going to see the setup uh, but yeah if you are interested in uh, flashing this ROM uh, do check out my video that I made for Galaxy S3 uh, how to install 5 and 1 Lollipop uh, Omni ROM and you will definitely going to like it pretty easy to do so yeah you can check out my channel I have a full playlist dedicated for this uh, um, for the Galaxy S3 of course you will find that video there or you can just pay with it to my channel so yeah subscribe and if you want me to do more videos like this for the Galaxy S3 and or some other phone then do let me know and uh, yeah, pretty great device still and I will see you next, uh, next video. Peace out.